I've seen the same in, in Sweden, for instance, where I'm from. Uh, it's, you know, to get the extreme right or the alternative right or the radical right into power, you always need an enabler. And it's very often the traditional right. You know, we've, we, we've had the exact same problem, so to speak, in Sweden uh, with a traditional right uh, leader saying we're not, we're not cooperating or collaborating or, you know, building allies with this party, whereas on local le uh, levels that has already happened. And they've not been able to keep, you know, to discipline let's say, uh, the local and municipalities the, or mayors in, in south of Sweden. And example. is the outcome then the same as it has been in here in France, where we've seen the, the, the tr traditional conservatives, well, effectively uh, collapse because yeah. they couldn't decide whether they wanted to be a centrist party or in bed with the far of right? Of course. It's all, I mean, it's, uh, you can see this in, the, there are hardly any examples that would show the, the opposite. Perhaps Denmark is, you know, the only well-known um, country where it, where it actually effectively stopped the, the uh, extreme right. But that's also because the Social Democrats of Denmark uh, adapted all their rhetorics. So basically there was no point in voting for them anymore. But I, we see this everywhere, of course. And it's uh, it's surprising, to not to say sad, to see that it keeps repeating itself in so many different countries, although the result is usually always the same in the end. You wash the extreme right and you enable them and you show them, you know, you open the door for them, basically.